Yeah, are you ready to take it on this morning? We are live. Hey, everybody. It's Kim. Kim Overholt at KimOverholt.com at my studio here at Overholt Art and Entertainment Studio where I am just about to get started on doing uh, another project that I've been working on quite recently and I wanted to get all my stuff out of the way before this so I just want to let you guys know that I'm about to start now I'm <laughs> about to start I've already started and I just want to give you a little bit of an insight to what, I, to what I'm doing so we were talking about comic book boot camp and uh, yeah I had uh, given you a little bit of a suggestion the other day for doing character design now I have my day off today and, and so with everything Put aside i'm going to show you what i've been working on lately and uh because watching uh i've been doing a thing for dc comics and when hold on a second i'll show you <clears throat> so i'm really into comics and i have always loved comic books ever since i could remember i even uh, managed to snaggle a few of my old comic books even after the fact that i'd already gotten rid of them I had found a, an old comic book store in my, my local neighborhood that had tons of comic books and some of the old favorites that I used to love. So um, one of them is a panel that I'm working on right now. And uh, it's, the panels are about this size. So you get to know a little bit about when you when you are doing something professional, if you want to do something a little bit more on the professional side, rather than using a sketchbook to put all your drawings in, uh, especially if you do want to do comic book art, this is the best way to start. This is Blue Line Art, and uh, this is comic book art boards. Uh, it gives you an idea of how to set up your comic books. It gives you like the basics of where your little um, gutter will be and things like this. Now, as you can see, this is the picture that I'm, I'm working on right now. It's freehand, <laughs> and uh, it is a lot of fun to do, and it was a lot of fun to work on and get started with. So, and basically, I'm taking a scene from one of my favorite comic books, and I'm recreating it. And hopefully it might win a prize. I don't know. I, I was talking to the people. Uh, see what I follow. I follow these people. Uh, um, it's called DC Comics in the 80s. And DC Comics in the 80s is having a thing about if you do a, uh, a an old superhero. But I asked about doing a one that I, I always loved, DC Comics. So one of my favorites was, and I, I will show you this. I took it out of the package. Oh, <gasps> I Vampire. I told you guys, I'm a big vampire fan. I uh, vampire of uh, folk. I had the the like the first one of this, and the per first part of the story, what talks about how he became the vampire. Uh, his name's Andrew Bennett, and he became a vampire back in 1591 uh, when he was strolling along one day and, and met a traveler that just happened to accost him and made him into a vampire, and this is what what he became. Um, uh, he and the funny thing is that what happened is uh, he tried to keep it secret from everybody and kept it hidden until well he, he has had a, a wife and his wife found out not too much longer and his, her name was Mary and uh, he made her into a vampire but unfortunately the evil part of whatever was in him went into her and she became wanting to conquer the world that kind of thing now this is a cool cartoon i tell you this would have made an excellent movie i would have watched this movie let me tell you if the movie came out i'd be all over it okay and so yeah she became like the evil side of him and he had to go and try and uh um uh, get her back and 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 uh, she like she escaped into the world making all kinds of vampires and stuff and he had gotten like vampire hunters to help him out and this kind of thing it was really a really good story and if you ever get a chance to know a little bit more about it, it definitely and uh, I'm I'll go show you <laughs> I show I will show you the page that I'm doing uh, in the actual it's the last page of after the fact that he that he's they've conquered uh, Mary and uh, he had taken this serum that was uh, going to save him from stay, staying a vampire but unfortunately it didn't work on him and he kind of as you can see is disintegrating here but uh, this is what that's the uh, the character that I have going on here that, that it, mine might be a little, little bit different from the original obviously and then I'm going to shrink it down and submit it. But it's what this is. Now, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but look at how much it used to be. 75 cents. 75 cents. 
and this is back in uh, 1983 when I was 13 years old the final chapter of I Vampire had come out so uh, I I really like I, I love the first little bit of it and I cut catching the end of it is like the best I didn't really catch too much in the middle part but that's okay because you know always the first one is the best one and the last one is always the best one so I had the first one and I know it was really awesome and this one the ending is so good too and like I say what this you can learn old from old styles you can learn how to do comic books and make your own comic book too so I have had my own comic book made just recently I helped a friend to actually do um, a Christmas comic book with pirates in it and uh, that one was really cool and uh, it turned out pretty good it was color colorized and everything had songs to go with it it was like kind of neat but this one is like just one of, uh, I like I say I enjoyed doing I the whole I vampire thing and this is mine and even if, if it doesn't win a prize, at least I can say at least I started something that I can try and continue on my own. And the great thing now, <laughs> of course, modern technology being what it is, you don't have to you don't have to draw this out. You don't have to do classic like I do. This is classic style, but you can also go right to the computer and do it. And uh, what most comic book artists do nowadays is they stream right onto their computer and well sorry they scan right onto their computer their their basic ideas and then they clean them up and do them right on there size them down which i'm going to do I'm right i think i have a scanner if not i'll take a picture of it scan it and and size it down to a nice size where i can submit it so that's what i'm going to do and this is kind of like an idea so as you can see, there's a character and uh, there's the panels. As you see, um, I'll give you an idea too. We were talking about this the other day as well. Let me just put this aside here. Oh, here's the, uh, if you're ever looking for these, you can find them at uh, any art store, uh, comic book, blue line art. They still make them. Yes, and even they make the little uh, animation um, panels too. So if you want to ever do classical animation you can always uh i think they're the same ones they will do that as well but 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 yeah i want to do something else in the meantime yes i want to show you uh oh, my board over, there, over here yes we were talking about the whole um getting it getting it right doing it making your own character and the other day we were talking about um making a character and you know what's really actually kind of cool is I also have enjoyed watching the Muppet Show as a kid, and and making puppets was one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I just saw a great uh, channel here on YouTube where you can make your own puppets if you want to. Now you can make you know what whatever you want is at your fingertips now, which is really great, and it saves a lot of people uh, any kind of heartache for you know you know exactly what you want, you know exactly what to find. You can go online and find whatever you need and whatever it takes for you to be successful. And I'm here just to give you little ideas of what I found out, okay? So, um, but like I say, with my panel here, uh, it doesn't have to be, as you can see, straight lines. Nothing's perfect. There's not uh, uh, every, any perfect straight. And you also can use some of the background rather than having to, like you can use some of the gutter. You don't have to use all the straight lines to fill in and make your panels you can have it going beyond the in the outside you see how she's kind of hanging out of any panels she's not in any panels she's just kind of in the drawing there so that's kind of cool uh so things like that you can do so i'll just give you an idea too so uh, of that panel that i'm working on right now and don't mind what i'm wearing today like i say it's my day off i wear what i want right okay so what this is all about when you're doing a cartoon, obviously, like I say, is uh, being able to draw the panels out and uh, like to establish things. So obviously in every panel, when you start it back up again, you kind of decide, you know, what people are seeing in each panel as well. So uh, as an example of the one that I'm doing right now, it shows uh, like he's doing his final words here, uh, the final words, and it has him. Obviously, it's talking with her. The whole thing right and then but has is him disintegrating into like a million pieces right but it all goes through the panel itself and her her head is actually 
outside of the panel to show it like th this is actually a way of showing like the the creative genius behind doing comic books is to make it so that your eye follows a certain theme and you can see that because of what happened um she set him free kind of thing in that way okay so there's that and it shows so that main panel coming in and it shows her hugging him because you know and then it has like another panel that kind of goes on the outside of it here or shows him like he's disintegrating here he's falling apart here but he's also like it shows him disintegrating here and she's she's giving him a hug here right okay i don't <laughs> don't mind the messiness of it but just to show you how it kind of all falls in place so again, there's another panel here where it shows everything, and and it's poetic. It's it's almost like uh, the ending of a great movie. You always have that um, the guy who's um, telling you how the ending happens, where you know it could probably continue, but for for his ending, this was his ending. So for him, this is what it was for him. Um, and as you can see, there's a. Things in the, and it goes, yeah, there's so, so there's different panels, and your eye follows along, obviously, to the different panels. There's there. And she, oh, sorry, this one actually is over top of her. But she kind of pokes out from underneath there, because this is all part of, like, the whole scene, too. And there's one more panel um, down here, but it's really, it's all just part of, like, the end and final finish of the whole panel itself so and of course this is where it says the end and as you do any story it has to have like a, again an establishing shot so obviously they're in the church where well i don't know if it's a church it's some kind of uh, uh some kind of place where it's called the uh the, <laughs> something of the blood moon something and, and and they were all worshiping at this particular like satanic church i guess it would be called the satanic church and, and it shows like all the fire coming out and he's talking about it watch well, the panels more here so you're seeing that sky and like there's uh, the way it all comes it's, it's a work of art every panel is a work of art and it's just beautiful and it makes your eye follow along so you know that as things are happening, as things are progressing, as things are going, she is the main. Uh, what, what's going to come away from all of this is that she's going to be okay. She's going to come away just as a normal person, just trying to have a normal life again, hopefully. Being uh, that she's part vampiric now, she actually is immortal kind of thing, so she can do whatever she wants kind of thing. But that's like, just so kind of show you how the whole concept works, and it does it on every, like every panel that you see is genius. So <laughs> part of the reason I love always doing comics is I always imagine myself doing some comic books too. So maybe one day, maybe one day. Getting old enough where I'm gonna have some time on my hands. It'll be the perfect time to do some comic books, right? There you go. But anyway, so that's like an idea of, of a scene. And it's a scene. It's actually like if you actually did a movie, you'd be able to do the camera shots as well because there's all, always the different camera shots that uh, they have. Like for this particular one, there's a few. You see like a straight on shot of her face. So I'll give you, like, there's ones where, different ones that you can have when you're doing. Uh, you have like this straight on shot where the person is standing there and maybe has a character in the background. There's one kind of established shot where people are talking back and forth to each other. The characters are talking back and forth to each other. This is there's something like that. And then there's other, um, like of course, establishing shots when you're doing establishing shots with people. So there's over the shoulder shots. And then there's like, you can also do like one like this where it's over the shoulder, really good. And then there's just the person themselves and they're talking here. They got like a bubble here talking. So the person can see them close up of something saying blah, 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 right? Just give you an example. <laughs> really rough. Good day, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, 
say good, and then he's gonna find little good, and then they start, and then there's other shots that you can take where are like from down below you can take a shot where uh, the, the head's up here and the body coming down this way. The person's talking like, you know, why'd you fall over? Mm -hmm. You have to keep in mind of angles now. You have foreshortening and you have uh, different things. And also you can take like an, a far away shot, which is also kind of good too. So there's like, see the guys on the ground now. It fell over. And the guy's like looking down on him. Uh oh, <laughs> he's wearing a dress. No, I know you didn't. No. You better leave my girl alone, kind of thing, you know. We can even see, I see. Hey. Make him angry, said, hey. He's like, how you doing? Hey, I heard you're a, you like my girlfriend. And then you have to like in between, like a band. <laughs> in between, you have somebody go. Bam! Hey, look. Hi, hi. I heard you like my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Bam. Oh, why'd you hurt me for? Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's a story. You make your stories as you go along, too. So it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, giving it a try and uh, finding out the different shots, too. Look up information, of course, on the internet. It's always the best source for finding everything else, but I'm just giving you a couple quick little ideas, too. But the best place to go is the Almighty, of course. So the Almighty always knows the best, right? But if you're ever looking for little things to kind of help you along the way, this is the way to do it, that's for sure. Anyways, yeah, so we were talking about characters, and, and obviously I'm showing you about different uh, camera angles. There's more to it than that. I have other ones. Um, and there's also motion that you can put into uh, different things where it looks like they're moving kind of thing, where you can make a person, say, look like they're running. So, okay, so you get the motion, see, you got the framework, you get the motion going of, like, somebody running. It looks like they're running. But to give it, oh, it's a little bit more, let's see. Oh, fix that leg here. <laughs> I feel better, don't get right. Okay. Yeah, you're kind of like that, right? So, kind of like that. Run. Anyways, so, <laughs> when you're running... Well, especially when you're doing characters running, things like that. You can add, like, little lines like these. Gives you the feeling of motion, right? And it's just something simple and easy. There we go. So depending on what you're having your character do, too, you can add a lines that will give it a little bit of more emphasis on uh, what it's trying to do, what it's trying to accomplish. There we go. Oh, there we go. So a little bit of everything today. I wanted to give it up there to you and uh, say a quick hello and show you what I'm working on. Just so you know that I am still out here. And yeah, it's my day off. And uh, I did my morning workout. I'm going to keep myself fit and healthy because, boy, oh, boy, i got a bone to pick with somebody. And I'm not going to stop until I pick that bone. <laughs> so, but... Uh, in the meantime, I want to say a great hey, how's going with you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you check out my stuff, and if there's anything that you uh, maybe think that I may be good at or would suggest that I could maybe try out for fun to try doing, I do that too. And besides doing, you know, comic book art like I love, I also like to do paintings, and I've got a nice black, uh, black canvas just waiting for me. 
to start doing something to and um, I've been trying to think of an idea and I kind of came up with one um, just bear with me I think I may have left my phone downstairs so one quick second gives me a little bit more exercise to run around and uh, make sure I can step on some ants along the way and grab my phone and make sure Everything and you're thinking, oh, I could have brought my ukulele. I could have brought my ukulele. I might have to go back downstairs and grab my ukulele too, but uh, all depends on this whether or not you want to hear a song or not. But uh, I know it's not very many people who are watching, so I don't know if you want to watch me making a fool out of myself. I do it quite often. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> all right, I'm going to find a picture and maybe get it started. I've met somebody who. Uh, says he wants a picture done of him, of maybe he might have one done of himself, so I'm going to, uh, da, da, da. let's get rid of this for a moment, uh, see if I can find a nice picture of him and maybe try and draw him, so let me see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can find a nice one. Ooh. Kind of like that one. That's nice. Wow. wow. He's talking to me. Wow. Okay. Let me see if I can find another one. Ooh. So cute. Yes, you are very cute. Oh my. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So, yeah, I have a few pictures I'm not going to show you. It's uh, kind of interesting. I'll see if I can find a nice one. Ooh. Okay. Kind of reminds me of an old Francesco. Frank doesn't want me to draw him. It's unfortunate because uh, he's very sexy too. But uh, if I must draw somebody else, I could, I could draw that guy. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Oof. I find something on a black background though, not a white background. Because, damn. <laughs> yeah, he's very cute. Okay, anyways, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a drawing, obviously. And, uh... Yep, yep, he's a sweetie. Makes me miss uh, John. John Winter is his name. Oof, what a cutie. Let me see if maybe there's another one in here. He's got short hair, he's got long hair. Oh. Looks good with short hair too. Damn. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, yeah. Um, anyways. I have to, yeah, so I'll be doing that. I'll, I'll have to do that another time. Yeah, that's, yeah, there's really good pictures on there. Did I show you some of the pictures that I do? Yeah, I do finger paintings and I do uh, a celebrity portrait and things like that. I enjoy it. Um, still looking to be famous. Probably not going to happen, but that's okay. Because at least I'm here and I'm having fun and I'm enjoying myself. Fame. You know what? I've seen so many people with fame, and look what happens to them. They end up getting wrecked anyways. It's really awful. I mean, 
Look, look, look at Robin Williams. He had next to everything, and and uh, I don't know. Some people they don't know. Well, they have people have their reasons for what they do. People do what they do, and I cannot stand in the way of people. As as you well know, things happen for a reason. Obviously. Okay, so anyways, let's not get down. We got to keep going positively upward. So yeah, so. Yeah, that was definitely, yeah, i got to find a good picture. There's some good pictures on there. I could definitely find a good picture of him to do. Yeah. All right. You know what? Getting older and being 52, you know, it, it's it, well, going to be 52. It's the weirdest thing because, like, I feel like I've gone back to being, like, 17, 18 again. It's like I look at guys and I go, oh. <laughs> and then I realize it's like, oh, my God, they're half my age. It's like... Okay. All right. I'll behave myself. I'll behave myself. What can I do? I keep on asking Brad Pitt, but he, he's like, uh, he doesn't want any part of me. But at this point, he's probably fed up. <laughs> I'm probably angry. I got him angry enough that he's probably like, if you ever hear anything by that, Kim, just tell him to go F off or whatever. I don't know. Although I could be wrong. Maybe he likes me. I don't know. I'm likable on the most part. I'm like, well, when it comes to uh, anything that, you know, where I'm not being cheated out of stuff and, and being lied to. <laughs> and that's what happened. That's what happened. I was I was treated by somebody who said that they were Brad Pitt and weren't. Oh, oh my God. How many Brad Pitts are really out there? There are really, like, there's tons of them out there. And, yeah, I, I went drawing his painting, doing, the, doing his finger painting and doing some portraits of not thinking that I'd actually gotten myself into a, a, a nest of snakes, which it turned out that, yeah, that's what happened. But in the meantime, I also managed to find myself a couple of really good friend, lady friends who also uh, are in the same boat as I am, and I don't feel so bad. So, Oh, and happy, happy uh, International Women's Day. Yes, by the way, yes. It's talking about women and uh, the way we act sometimes and the way that things go and things that we think go on and the things that men think that go on. It's two different things. And uh, obviously I'm more for, for life and keeping it in, in the positive. And uh, I believe that people are here for a reason and that uh, there isn't a that there shouldn't be less people in the world. There should be more people in the world and more love in the world. What's wrong with people? People are trying to get off this planet when they should be learning about how to love each other and being good to each other. I don't get it. So I just do as I do and I just celebrate uh, every day that I'm alive and I just am happy that I'm on the same planet as Brad Pitt, which makes it kind of nice if he did like me. <laughs> And, you know, I've loved my husband for 25 years, and I am fun, and uh, who knows, if you like me, you might really like me, I don't know, we might be good friends and get better acquainted, Equ acquainted, Equ acquainted, <laughs> yeah, everything goes out the window, especially when you turn 50-something, and yeah, for all those lucky people who are turning 50, yeah, wait until you find out what is coming Oh my gosh, there's days where I feel real great and days where I'm just, I feel like if somebody put me under the bus or something, they run me right over. Oh my gosh, yeah, but uh, got to keep on keeping on because you're a good person. And you know what, actually, uh, at 49, 48 is when I started having to take care of my body. So here I am almost four years later and I'm in the greatest shape. I'm feeling so good. I haven't been sick. I have no vaccinations, no medication. I'm not taking anything. I am pure 100% Canadian woman, and I am so happy to be here. And let me tell you, I'm happy you're here watching me because if it wasn't, I'd be kind of just talking to myself, which I do anyways. <laughs> I have this uh, alter ego called Kimmy the Clown, and uh, her and I, we do um, a little bit of uh, face painting together, as I, sh I show you sometimes. I do have my face painting kit kit always nearby in case they have a hankering. You know, uh, um, uh, what do we call it? St. Patrick's Day is coming and uh, Kenya Clown is definitely going to, uh, she's retired but she doesn't stop, you know, giving me ideas for face painting. So I could do any kind of face painting maybe another day. It could be a 
face painting day, especially when we get close to, um, definitely when we're getting closer to uh, St. Patrick's Day, I'll be doing more green, showing you some nice things I can do and decorate when I don't even have to have a mask or when I do have a mask, whatever. Masks, craziness. Anyways. I know. I know you like me. I know you like it. I can tell you're smiling. Yeah. I like you too. You're fun. Yeah, thank you. You know, I try. I try every day. Every day. It's um, it's fun. I try to make it up here every day to at least give you guys a little bit of something of, of art that we're doing, like that, that I work on on a constant basis. So yeah, definitely doing uh, uh, that panel today because I can win a prize if I do and uh, working on my own artwork and uh, trying to see if I can sell maybe some more art. The uh, the lady that I did the painting for in California, she got it. She's so happy about it too. She loved it. And uh, I'm now my plate is, my slate is clean and I'm ready for more commissioned paintings. If anybody has any ideas of things that they want me to draw or paint or anything like that. And then until then, I'll continue with my comic book boot camp and uh, give you a little bit of ideas of, of what it's going to be happening in us. So, what I have here is just a quick little sample. What happens next after you do all the drawing of this is I'm going to be coloring it. Well, first I'm going to pen it in and check my lines and make sure everything's looking right and uh, then pen it in. And then the next thing will be just to do all the different extra little bits and I'll have it finished with the split and uh, oh, and I'm all talking to action right now, so I gotta start doing some action. So either I gotta either start working on a ooh, and you know what? Oh. Ooh, 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 I'm I, you know what? Ooh, ooh, I get hot thinking about it. <laughs> thinking about doing a a, a painting of um, John Winter. Hmm, that sounds very interesting indeed. All right, and uh, yeah. In the meantime, hold on one more second. <laughs> Because I love you being here, and you know what? I'm glad that my internet lasts longer than it used to. Hold on, everyone. You believe me. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> Woo! Yes, it's Kimmy's variety show. I gave you a little bit of everything. Song, dance. Well, I haven't danced for you yet. Yeah, so happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. I think it's um, Drew Profi's birthday today. And many more. He's just turning 50. He's one of my favorite artists, too. He does like a Cali, he's from California, SN. Clemente, San Clemente, California, along with Mar Maria Brophy, and they both do like really awesome art, and they've taught me a lot about how to get a little bit further. <laughs> I'm a little bit further than I was before, but I always need a little bit more help to get pushed, that little extra, so uh, I mean, if you have any, any uh, give me some kind of clue, give me some kind of clue, I have no idea where to go next, no, I, I do have an idea, it's, it has to do with world domination though, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. 
the beat pace will flow. So maybe I had to scurry, but maybe just to have for Jake Moore or James Dean. <laughs> There's my thing. So, comic book boot camp. So, uh, I showed you a little bit about um, camera angles. I showed you a little bit about uh, character design. I showed you a little bit about what I'm working on right now. And a little bit of fun and what I could be working on later. Oh, boy. Always fun. So, I hope you have a fantastic day. Because I won't keep you. Because I, I talk my own ear off. And I, I don't need you to kind of follow me around and be talking your ear off too. I'm sure enough people would be like, Kimmy, are you out of your mind? I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, you know, I've come to the realization I'm not angry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just mad. I'm just mad. And there's nothing I can do about it. And I get mad. I get mad. <laughs> Everybody gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> right? Anyways. It's all about what you enjoy and uh, having a good time. And I enjoy doing art and I enjoy having company. And uh, unfortunately, I can't have any company. Because of COVID, I can't let you get this close. But I can always hang out with you here and uh, I'll come back. I'll come back maybe a little while, too. Who knows? And uh, show you what's going on. I'm so random. You'd never know, you know? And that's the great thing about being an artist. I have free will. I can do what I like. and like what I do. And I like what I do. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have a drink here where I would toast you. But I think maybe I should go because... I should get some stuff accomplished, and, and I hang out with you, and you're looking so good. You know, I, I, I can't concentrate. I, I look at you, and I go, whoa, you know, I wish I was over there rather than being over here. You know what I'm saying? So in those lovely little terms of saying I, I'm endeared to you, I hope you have a fantastic day, and uh, I'm glad you stuck it out to the end. You're the best.